Welcome back again in Fear and Hunger version 1.1.2. After trying out the demo version of the game, I was actually interested to see the very first full release version, but unfortunately I was not able to find it. This is the first one I was able to, so without further ado, let's go! And since previously I used the mercenary, I actually want to change. Let's use Enki for this run. Oh, we can choose between normal mode and hard mode. There is no terror and starvation. I want to see what's present, so I'm gonna go with the normal mode this time. If you want a run in hard mode, just let me know. Wonder if we can get Dash in the intro. Let's try. Oh, wait. If we can pray to a god, it means there is the Hexen in the game. And we have Dash. There is... There are some uh, wooden bars missing here or something, some barrels on the side. I think that's the majority of stuff that is missing, but for the rest it's the same zone, yeah. Are the torches implemented? We don't have torches, so if I have to guess, there are no torch mechanics implemented into the game for now. <gasps> we got a soul stone! Okay, okay, it's confirmed! The Hexen is in the game! Um, unless the Soulstone is just there for flavor or something. Alright, Seymour, be gentle. Daddy needs some good weapons. There is no coin flip. Huh? What? Eh? Ah, okay, here... Okay, the weapon table did not have a coin flip. I gotta be honest, I actually like that idea, because I think that weapons are never really game-changing, at least those you get from weapon table. <gasps> Enki can use arm guards. Wait, wait, am I misremembering? Enki cannot use arm guards normally. Oh, well, you know, you know, we, we take this, we take this, absolutely. Hmm... <gasps> the rocks here seem loose, so the penance armor is in the game. Because that means, hey, there is no torture. I, uh, I, I, I was expect. <gasps> Something is going on. There are two people in this. <gasps> new event! New event! Torture! Please, why do this? Shade again, please. I love it. I still feel the oh. king. <laughs> oh! I actually like this event. Why did it get removed? I kind of want to see what happens if I ignore them. No, oh, I don't have to let the intrusive thoughts win. We are gonna interrupt them. I love you, torture. I'm, I'm very so. No, no, no. Ah, I deserved it. Hey, uh, torture. Am I being very unlucky or? Uh, okay, guess I was just unlucky. Let's go. Boom. Bakman does a symbol of a cross with his hands and looks up, eyes closed. Uh, he's uh, T-posing in front of me in this moment. Uh, I see, and I cannot use the bed uh, because Bakman is in front of it. Ah, uh, what a scam. I would love to be able to save Legard, so I'm gonna stop messing around and I'm gonna try to reach the thicket, which should exist, uh, maybe? Listen, since I have an explosive vial, all I need is to be able to take the mock-up book, and if the thicket exists, we will be able to reach Legard immediately. After that, we can check more stuff. Mocha book, there it is! And now... We still don't have the lucky coins, by the way. I think they were added after Termina added them, like, as a sort of reference. Alright, here we are, and I see the opening. Let's use it! Is the talk event with the... with the dogs actually present, or am I just gonna die here? Please? Please? Oh! Oh! There are still no dogs even in this version? That's cool. Wow, Fear and Hunger had much, much less punitive enemies in specific zones in the past. Like, think about it. We have the weapon table with literally guaranteed weapons. We have the no dogs near the Tree of the Depths, which is one of the main choke points of the game. Book of Enlightenment! <laughs> huh? I don't even think you can find Book of Enlightenment in the current version in a chest. Wonder if the wall... Yes, uh, we have... Oh? I thought there was gonna be a soul stone here. There is a new zone. Wait, this is the... Okay, this is the deeper, the deeper thicket. <gasps> oh! So in the past, the organ was hidden behind that empty wall. That's a very curious choice. Boom! Hello, buddy. See ya, buddy. <gasps> and we're already in the level 7 catacombs. Okay, okay, so they changed it so that, that the deeper thicket becomes the next layer, and then there is the level 7 catacombs. I see. Is this a Book of Enlightenment, or...? Yeah, it's another Book of Enlightenment. There is no Elite Guard. Oh, That's just sad! Like, Legard has literally no one guarding it. Oh, he has a short sword. Normally, he has no weapon when you find him here. Wait, did the guards literally left a prisoner with a sword? Now, in this version, can I guard the coin flip attacks? The question of one million dollars is gonna be answered in three, two, one... 
Oh, yes. Hey, did I see it correctly? If I click with the ma- Eh? Uh, eh? What? Uh, uh, I can play with the mouse? No, ma- the no, uh, I, I have to try this in the actual, but no, a am I stupid? Were you able to do this the whole time even in the actual game? Alright, we're back on the actual version, let's try to continue on a random save. Hello buddy, can I click? No, I can't click, okay, I'm not stupid, you can only select the body part of the opponent with this, what? Whoa. Why the developer thought implementing? I mean, it's cool to have a full mouse implementation, but uh, why? There we go, we're back here! Eh? I literally did not- Let's not fight him, because I literally did not move, so it means potentially the event is kinda different in this version. I'm gonna stand still for some time, let's see what happens, okay guys? Let's stand still together. Uh -huh. Oh! So you're telling me in this version, the event of the Spectre Knight was based around time and not around where you go? Goodbye, buddy! Uh oh no! Ah! Eh, no! Wait, wait a second. Am I just having very bad luck, or... Buddy? Three miss again? Buddy? Buddy? Four? Please? Show me the game is not stup- Bro! For real? <laughs> what? How many misses? No, I, I need to check if this was because of my bad luck or no. Welcome guys to a new guide of fear and hunger. Today I will explain to you how to beat the Assassin Spectre in the first version of the game. You see, there is only one difference between the Assassin Spectre in the actual game and the Assassin Spectre in this version. This Assassin Spectre is bold. You see, it has 500 evasion in the game. <laughs> <laughs> this man is so cursed! As I was saying, it has 500 evasion in this version of the game. Huh? Sacrificing the- uh? I immediately got my affection with all me increasing. So all you had to do to gain, I mean, not that you have to do much else, even in the actual version, to gain maximum affinity with the all your brother. Wow, okay. Hello, you stupid idiot. Wonder if there is even the possibility to get the purified Eastern Sword in this version, because I don't think the developer intended this opponent to be defeatable with 500 evasion. If anything, I'm learning, the more I play these games, the more I need to not trust the developer at all. Come on. Let Let's go! Okay, now we have the stone crown, we are the king of the cave dweller village. If my calculations are correct, if the game is in the same way it is today, with this, we should have won. Easy! What is the purpose of cursing your weapons if you cannot attack ghosts? Just a straight up flat boosting damage? Okay, this minecart still had infinite stones. Once we take the girl, she is gonna have a lot of weapons. I guess I did everything important here. Time to take Darcy. I guess we have the cube, we have everything needed, we can go to Mahabre. Are we really gonna get an ending in this version? Wait a second, I just realized. Since soul stones are in the game, are boss souls in the game as well? Can I just get the Salmon Snake soul? <gasps> oh! <laughs> now we are gaming! I have a very interesting theory, are you ready? There are some items like the Murky Vial which are certain hits, but what if the other items are certain hits as well, and they were later on nerfed. I, I want to try something. Okay, let's wait here for the Assassin Spectre, because I have a plan. Let me cook. Okay, here we are. If my plan is correct, this is gonna be huge. Are you ready? Uh, actually, no, let's not do it with uh, Enki. Let's do it with Legarde. Are you ready? Ooh! <laughs> 1,000! Oh, because he has 10,000 HP! <gasps> so we, we can win! We just need to resist 10 turns! I have a plan. Wait! Easy! If boss souls are present, I'm just gonna give myself... Oh lord... Angel? There we go! Alright, now Enki is an unbreakable machine of destruction, or maybe Legard. There is something else I could do. Let's kill Isaiah. In this way I can get the transmutation loop. Wait a second! But if items are certain hits, then if I stone his head to death... W uh, wait, did I discover the meta? Did I discover the meta? 
Did I discover the meta? <laughs> Throwing stars is the meta! <laughs> the Oonga Boonga build is possible! Oh yeah? How did you defeat this powerful ancient being? Oh yeah, I just threw some stones at it, you know, it was kinda easy. Oi! I just crit the door! Ha! Huh, you cannot do that normally in the game. I guess it was nerfed for a reason, okay. And the map should be right here. There we go! We get the scrolls! All the blood portals have been set up. I think it's time to create the transmutation loop. And also we can take combustion. Wonder if combustion is a physical attack or no in this version. Alright, let's go and get our guaranteed combustion because at this point everything could be anything. If items are certain hits, I don't see why a literal blow of fire shouldn't. Here we are, give me my combustion! Pharmacy trick and combustion, there we go! So, all that is remaining to do now is just wait, I guess, for the Spectre. Uh, Alright, kill me when the Spectre arrives, so see ya later! Oh, there it is, wait, uh, wait, let me put back my headphones, there we go! Okay, so, uh, the plan is very simple. We are gonna use a throwing dart with Enki. The guard is gonna use Combustion, and Dars is gonna use Fast Attack. Let's see if Combustion is a certain hit, because at this point you will never know. Eh? No. <laughs> Do you feel powerful, guys? Do you feel powerful? <laughs> <laughs> so all the spells are certain hit in this version at this point. That's what I can gather. Wow. How did they... Who... How do you think this is fair for, for the enemies, not for us, for the enemies? <laughs> can we burn... We even burned him. Okay, he's gonna lose 2,000 HP each turn. It's gonna be dead in seconds now. Come on, please don't lose any limbs. Okay. This is so un- I feel bad for the Spectre. This is the developer that said, huh, I'm gonna put an impossible enemy. Like, this is like defeating the Chambara in the demo version of the game. We did not even he need the heal, actually. Propolo lost his left arm. Eh? I am pretty sure I have the Salmon Snake Soul. You know what, we think about that later. First of all, let's kill this, okay? Alright, the Spectre should have one HP. It is time to finish this. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Baby. Let's go! We don't get anything. <laughs> How did I lose my left arm? Wait, uh, I am pretty sure I do have the Salmon Snake, so... Wait a second. No, okay, I feel relieved, you know why? I thought for a second uh, that Combustion, since there was this myth that Combustion was actually able to cut off limbs, was the reason. But no, the reason is that the Salmon Snake Soul does not protect from limb losses. That's the real reason. Ah, okay. Ah, I feel so relieved. Hmm, we need a finale for this run. What do we do? I, I have an idea, actually. I mean, we're gonna do what any traditional JRPG does in the end. We're gonna fight God. First step is getting rid of Ragnavaldor once and for all, using his own nemesis, Legard. But we can just boop some stones on the head because we realize that's the meta. Now what we do is we take the two empty scrolls we have and we write Endless... Enlightened. Boom. And now we already know where we are going. We are gonna fight the Nameless figurine in order to get access to the last organ of the dungeon. Hello, Nameless idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got everything. Let's fight. Boom. All right. Is there the event with the dogs in the temple? Oh, yeah, I hear Bow Bow. Woof Woof, technically. Is it said Bow Bow even in English or do you say Woof Woof? Here we are. The last organ has been cut off. Now we have access to the gauntlet. Before going in there, let's do a little siesta. I need more mind and maybe even to duplicate some moldy bread, you know? I don't think I need something else to be able to deal with Grogorov. I don't expect Grogorov to be any difficult, honestly. Maybe I'm just coping a little bit, but uh, you know, after playing Fear and Hunger so much, I really think you can just not care about- Hey, wait, whoa! Wait a second! Wait, I lost an arm, but I am able to equip both an a weapon and a shield. Um. Wait a second. What if? No, uh, now I need to test this. Now I need to test this. Locust Swarm. 
I, I, I think I have a theory. Can we stun Garogaroth? You know why I hope that something similar happens? Because in case you don't know, Garogaroth was not added as a hard mode exclusive boss, specifically because the developer was not able to beat it. So, if there is something broken which makes it a joke, it's gonna be even funnier. Of course, not to make fun of the developer, I mean. Hello? Where are we going? Is this already Garogaroth? Oh, there is no wrecking ball! Are we ready? This is the final battle. Let's go! Wonder if the dialogue is different. You take a look into the black. Yeah? Oh! In this version, there is not the bugged event of Najra because I guess it was still not implemented. <laughs> okay, interesting. Now, the crucial question Can we stun the God of Destruction? Make your bets now, because in three, two, one. <laughs> God damn it, the game was so much different, and on one side we could say it was easier than the actual one. You guys had it easy in the old days, like, not in the demo, maybe, not in the demo, but in the very old days you got it easier than us, wow! I can even use Needlework because I don't care, like, boom! What, one more, oh wait, I have to reapply the, the, the stun. <laughs> ah! God of Destruction, my butt! <laughs> boom! God damn it! Okay, playing this old version was, a. Hey, he's not dying, <gasps> Oh, I guess he had 10,000 HP in this version, okay, for real. But you know, playing this old version was already worth it because of this. I want to try the other versions, like, if in this version there is days, I wonder what's in the other versions, I have to try them. So guys, what can I say? There we go, guys, there you get it, ending B, the older one. <laughs> Hello, it's Frappolo in post-production to tell you something very important. In this version, the Ring of the Steel Blood and the Thorn Ring don't lock your accessory slot, making the Ring of the Steel Blood literally a Salmon Snake Soul, but obtainable even early on with a little bit of luck. The Thorn Ring, unfortunately, is very situational, but it's good regardless. What can I say? I had a lot of fun playing in this version. I'm sure I missed a lot of the stuff that was different from now, but I had a lot of fun. And if you did as well, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Did you know only 36% of people that watch my videos... Well, now it's 37, so I guess it works. ...are actually subscribed? And let me know in the comments if you actually knew about these old facts, or if you played during this version, or what was your favorite fact of today. But anyways, for now, I was Frapolo94, and I will see you next time.